concussions. I've had more than 19 concussions. 19 that I know of. It does feel like my husband was taken away from me, but the more I'm finding out about concussions and brain damage in the NFL, it makes sense. Jean Merlino played football at West Point, sustained a total of 13 concussions. I have this uh, sponge head or like a fog head. It just wears on you and it just doesn't go away. I wake up every morning and I go, please don't. And I open my eyes and there it is again. You know, with our head trauma, we do things that we don't even understand. Yeah. Like one of those 1.75 liters of vodka. I'm doing one of them a day. This is like real head trauma stuff. I don't think I've seen a case this severe. Wow. I'm not, no, no That's I've saying something. That's saying something. We still need to build enough trust in Terry that he'll open up about his meth use. You have to make the decision to stop it. I'll stop it on a dime. Hey, Ray, I'm in the car with Gene and Terry, and we're on our way to the facility. So happy for you guys, man. The first day of your new life. Yes. God bless you. Oh. You look terrific. Look at you. Yeah. You look like a new man. He's trying to How get buff, though, he said. He's trying to get in the gym. Yeah, you get there. Like it. <laughs> it returns. Yes. Yay. <laughs> so today was Terry and Jean's first day back at PAST after hey. rehab. And the transformation was remarkable. You know, me coming out of Sierra Tucson, yeah, it was thinking of the triggers at home, you know. But uh, this is my new support. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, at, 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 at any time. At any time. Yeah, I got a lot of work ahead of me. You yeah. But being around you guys, I, it makes me want to do it. <laughs> so the coolest thing happened today. <laughs> Great to see you. You look wonderful. Yeah. You're always a little ugly, but you still look wonderful. <laughs> Terry's former coach, Dick Vermeil, drove to past to see Terry. Well, see, Terry's one of two players that I coached in college and pro. But, you know, he was never a guy that talked a lot. He just got it done, and other people would follow him because of that. I can bring him down for five days and have him help me coach the linebackers. Oh, that would be great. Um, I could work yeah. that out with the facility. Yeah. Um, yeah. Good to see you, Coach. Oh, it's great to see you. Yeah. I think this connection between Terry and Coach Ramil is going to be very significant in Terry's road to recovery. Gene, I'm a little worried about. I abused alcohol and I abused drugs for the sake of my brain. You know, I had all the head injuries. Uh, I, I was frustrated in Sierra Tucson because I cleaned out and I was waiting for that two or three week where you started feeling better. I felt worse. My head was humming. It's going to stay humming. It came first. Yeah. And for me, I'm just sort of, uh, I know what my brain looks like, and I know how much backup battery I have left, and I just can't f with it. For Gene, it's going to be a, a challenge. This is my life right here. And we're committed to having guys like Ray Lucas around him to support him in this long process. I, I can't thank you enough for the support well, you showed. Again, now, you, well, you, the other thing you got to realize is there's going to be a lot of new faces in this room. Right. And you're going to be me. Yeah, it's good. You're going to be the one that's available. I would love all to give back. And then even though Leonard doesn't have any addiction issues, he's just like us, too. Because his physical pain is just as bad as us. His head issue is just as bad. So we're all searching for, for answers. Leonard, what are your goals and objectives that you would like to have us address? Uh, I don't want to be, I don't want to be that guy that, that's got the CT that it's now taking over me. I want to take over it. I want to dominate it. And I want to take as many of us as I can and inform others like me how to deal with the issue. Blitz coming. Leonard Marshall, number 70, comes right up the middle. Just recently, Leonard Marshall was one of the first three living players to be diagnosed with CTE. And I'm saying to myself, well, there's either two ways you go. Either you fight or you die. So, what's worse, die from fighting or die from not fighting? I'm gonna go out swinging. And that's the way I see it today. So, if anything come out this room, or if anything come out the group, or anything come out of the past, 
I want to be able to show somebody and help somebody learn to take that proactive approach. I tell you what, it's, it's really great to sit here with five guys. I remember I was sitting here with Jen for a while. We, we didn't have conversations like this. It really sucked. <laughs> and, and Leonard, I'll tell you this, it's not always addicts in here. We have, oh, no, we, no, cut, no, we cut it up. Yeah, we cut it up. We cut yeah, it up. I realize that. It's everything in here. Yeah, yeah, but I can honestly say this is my therapy, to sit with like-minded people that share something that we've all shared, the game of football, because we're conditioned not to ask for any help. So seeing the, the peer group today and the fact that these men have really put themselves in this. For me to see those five guys in that room not only extend their hand and ask for help, but come back to the fraternal order that we come from, that brotherhood that we come from, was huge for me. You know, that's a major thing for me because what we did as athletes made us heroes. Yeah. What we need now makes us human. In the future, when guys come in, this will be our round table. This room's gonna fill up faster than you could possibly imagine. Because there's a lot of us out there that don't know what's going on and don't know how to ask for help. But when they hear stories, Gene, hear Terry's story, hear my story, they're gonna be coming in droves. You know what I mean? And you guys are the inspiration.